right, Hannah, I wanted to redo a couple of these questions and make it apparent how you're supposed to do these. Um, I'm sending you a email with this link to this class um, along with the instructions on how to do each one of the questions and then I'm going to just follow the instructions and show you how to do it. Um, let's read over what the actual questions were first. Okay, it says the sum of two positive integers is 20, and find the numbers so that the sum of the first number and the square root of the second is maximized. Okay, so um, our first equation is going to be our constraint, and so the constraint says that x plus y is equal to 20 and the next equation is going to be the equation that we maximize so I'm just going to call this f of x and it said that the first number plus the square root of the second number is going to be maximized so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first equation and I'm going to solve it for y so y is equal to 20 minus x. And then I'm going to plug that into the second equation. So x plus the square root of 20 minus x. Oh, I think this is 200. Let me go back. It's 20. So you're always going to be given one equation that's going to be equal to a number. That's your constraint equation. And the second equation is the equation you're going to actually just make up from the second statement. So now I'm going to find what f prime is. F prime would be 1 plus, I can rewrite this as 20 minus x to the 1 half power. And so when I take the derivative of that, that's 1 half times the square root of 20 minus x to the negative one-half power times negative one. Because the inside of this derivative is negative one. So this is going to change to one plus negative the square root Sorry. So let's make this all one uh, equation. 
equation. So I get Well, I'm going to just set this equal to zero. So now zero is equal to one minus one over the square root of 20 minus x times two. And then I'm just going to bring this over to the other side. So one over two square root of 20 minus x is equal to one. And so we cross multiply it up. And so 1 is equal to 2 times the square root of 20 minus x. I'm going to bring this number over to this side, so I get 1 over 2 is equal to the square root of 20 minus x. And then I square both sides, so 1 fourth is equal to... 20 minus x. And so x would be equal to uh, 20 minus 1 fourth. And so x is equal to 79 over 4. So that's our first number. And now I'm going to take that number and I'm going to plug it back into our constraint equation, which is this equation here. And so we get twenty. Sorry. We get 79 over 4 plus y is equal to 20. And so y is equal to 1 fourth. So you start off with your constraint equation. You write your optimization equation. You take your constraint equation and you solve it for one of the two variables. You plug that variable back into your optimization equation. You take the derivative of it. Once you take the derivative of it, you solve it for the missing variable. Notice that in your optimization equation, you only have one variable. So you should always have only one letter in that equation. Then you take the derivative and then set the derivative equal to zero which is what I did here. And then you solve for that variable, which is what I did here. And then that's how we got the, the 79 over four. And then you take that number and you plug it back into the equation to solve for the other variable. Now I can't, I could have taken this equ variable equation and solved it for Y and then taken this equation and differentiate it in terms of the second variable, you would still get the exact same answer. And that's what I did last night when I got the one fourth, because I just took, I just squared both sides. You can use either one of the two, but you can only have one variable in that equation. Let's do one more. The sum of two positive numbers is twice the second positive number is 200. The sum of one positive number and twice the second is 200. So the sum of the first number plus two times the second number is 200. And they want us to optimize it so that the product of the two numbers is maximized. So I'm going to say the product P is equal to X times Y. That's the one I'm going to differentiate. 
that's my constraint. So I'm going to solve this equation for one of the two variables. So let's solve this one for x and see what happens. So x is equal to 200 minus 2y. And now I'm going to plug that into here. So y times 200 minus 2y is equal to our product. And now I'm going to differentiate it according to that variable. So p prime would be equal to, let's multiply this through. So this is y times 200 minus 2y squared. And so I get negative 2y. Let's do it this way. So let's take the derivative of this. So this would be 200 minus 4y. And so when I do that, I'm going to take my derivative and I'm going to set it equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 200 minus 4y. And so 4y is equal to 200. And so y is equal to 50. Again, I remember last night when I did this question, I solved for x and took the derivative. But it was easier for me to solve for y and take the derivative and get this number, which is 50. And so I'm going to take that 50 and plug it back in to this equation in order to find the other number. So I get x plus 2 times 50 equals 200. And so x is equal to 100. And remember, when we did this last night, we actually got 100 for the answer. And then we plug it back in and we got 50 for y. And so that means that the product of the two numbers would be 5,000. That would be the maximum number that you get for the product. Again, I hope that is helpful. Um, I'm going to post this video up on YouTube for you. And I'm also going to put a link in the email so you can actually see the two questions. Um, if you have any other questions, call me on Saturday and we'll work it out again. But I think this should be really helpful because I made it really plain what you're supposed to do with the two equations and the two numbers. All right. Have a good weekend.